All right, let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. It has been been a bit since I've um, jumped out here on the scene and 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 um, caught up with you folks. And because it's pretty icky out, and it's been icky out for last week, the amount of things that I've been able to get done have been very low. Um, not a lot of accomplishments the last week. It has been cloudy, uh, rainy, foggy, icky. I'll show you that here in a minute. I got some updates I want to share with you, and I got some conversation. So, um, welcome, welcome uh, to uh, uh, meet up, conversation, chit chat. We haven't had in quite a while. Um, I miss you guys. I really do. Uh, but you know. Um, things have changed in lots of ways some good and some not so good and we'll kind of breeze across that the best way that we can given the language that we have to use on this particular platform so for most of you you'll most of you you'll know what we're talking about for those of you if I speak an innuendo and and it doesn't make sense um, throw a question in and maybe some of the other uh, commenters can help or I can maybe respond I don't know we'll see we've got to be careful what we put in the comments as well because it's all heavily um, censored so how y'all doing folks I, I mean honestly um, I like I said I miss you guys how y'all doing uh, let me know in the comments because um, it's been so long T and I miss you oh and by the way um Hello. Speak up, honey. Hi. Hi, there you go. She's chilling in the in the back air um which she usually does while I'm making these videos. So, lots of lots of things that I want to kind of breeze across um uh some points I want to make because I've done this before and uh I I think when when as some like to call it spirit talk to me or uh, I felt a calling to say some things or whatever, however you want to put it. When when my gut told me, hey, let's talk about this, there were some pretty good um, reasons for it and pretty good uh, justification that I like, 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 like to put it, Delta Ford, you know, time plays out and you go, oh yeah, that was really relevant. Um, you know, a uh, little over, God, has it been that long, 220? Yeah, almost whew, three, almost three years ago. Um, actually, the, the, um, the, Cornholio started uh, in um, uh, an, uh, across that big western pond uh, right about now, and then we were some of us in the alt were uh, getting wind of it and starting to discuss it uh, around the holidays. And by January, we were really rip roaring on that was the new heated topic. And I gave you. Uh, and part of part of what um, got my original channel taken down was a, a serious call out and a warning and so on and so forth. And what I basically told you it was at that point, and I guess I could go back if I really wanted to and dig out the clips and say, see, this is what I said. See, let's look at what happened since. Uh, but there's a couple of points um, that I will share with you on on um, navigational things that would have been very behoovious for us to take advantage of at the times that we did uh, because of the conditions that we have now versus um, what they were then and the first one was the big one was um, early part of that year and what was it uh, uh, 2020 uh, where you get your clear vision uh, with the events coming on I basically said it is time to get to your GTFO location or to, to get get ready and get it going and stuff now some could argue and you know and have legitimate uh, argument that well 
you know, things are still somewhat together and you didn't need to bug out yet, but let's look at things for a moment. And at that point in time, I said, it, it's time to move. You need to, I said, give yourself six months to get to and set up the place that you want to be at. Well, look at things now. Um, we have since had um, a, a whole lot of market volatility. Markets went up, got smashed down that following March, and then we were shown in our faces just how manipulated they were. Things went screaming up for uh, almost two years, and now for this last year, guess what? The markets um, have already given up, you know, 25% of, of, of that massive move. And we're fixing the head hole lower. Well, look at that. We're going to do some some charts here in a minute, just for shits and grins. You know, we're gonna we're gonna do that. A few other things, but the you know the the call I made back then, I feel so um, thankful that I, I basically said what I said back then because there's a lot of people that hadn't moved at that point and now have since moved, and with Everything that, that you've seen uh, T and I go through as far as, 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 as the building of our homestead here and all the infrastructure that's gone in and all the preparations and the, and the time to mend the soil, the, the, the several years of uh, failing at growing certain things and then learn, you know, do, amending soil and growing things, all the things that it's taken to get us into place so that this... Homestead is, 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 you know, capable of truly supporting us uh, when it comes to our, our needs, our, our power, our water, our food, and all that. It has taken a tremendous amount of work. Now, we were just in the beginning phases of that um, three years ago because it was shortly into us, you know, moving here. We hadn't really even gotten all the infrastructure you know, truly started. So, for those that have moved, um, uh, you you will know how much work it is taken to do such. Uh, you know, men mention in the comments. Tell tell us how. I know a few folks that um, had not moved yet, and that was the motivation for that. And uh, there are lots of um, issues. Find the right word. Issues that have since shown themselves with you know supply chains uh, availability of certain kinds of products and stuff quality of certain kinds of products and price of most products have all changed in these last three years to the point where to do it again to start now um, to to have to uh, pack up and go somewhere and do th something from scratch now uh, is substantially going to be more difficult. And unless you're blessed with substantial gains, and this will lead me to my other example of things that um, I'm very thankful that I had made mention of, even though there was, there was some mockery of, of these by some commenters, and, and generally, yes, I... Uh, delete those when they come in on the on the comment section simply because um, if all you know how to do is tear somebody down then you don't know to, you, you, there's no reason for you to be here okay um, I can understand having different opinions and those different opinions if you have how should I say uh, potential solutions to offer for it those things stay up in the comments because I'm not perfect you're not perfect and we got to learn from each other's um, uh, foresight, actions, and failures and successes, and that's that's the beautiful thing about you know what we've been going through here. So in um, I think it was April of this year. I'm pretty sure it was around that point in time uh, when Bitcoin um, it hit the the the, the sixty thousand, and then it came back down. And at that point in time, um, I had gotten a um, contact, and I told you I mentioned was there there was a three-letter agency behind it. Um, you know, I, I can't prove none of it, but the, the and I passed it along. And then there were some really rough comments on that, um, and especially um, um, instant me uh, text messages, people who who 
you know, oh, Aaron, that's, you know, you, know, you don't want us to believe that's you really, you know, well, here's the thing. What was said to me was, um, take a lick of your ice cream. You know, um, you know, there are folks that I know through this channel that have had a substantial uh, amount of Bitcoin. And Bitcoin bounced around in the 60, and then it was shot up and hit was close to 70, and it's been down ever since. That would have been an excellent opportunity to lick your ice cream cone. Now, I'm not saying that Bitcoin won't do its 200,000 party or million dollar party. That that's all been called for by many people in that space for some period of time. The problem is. And the, the issue that I uh, foresaw was the indicators that the supply chain were was um, really, really um, taking some big hits at that point in time. We saw the shipping container issues, and since then, over the summer, because of the drought, you know, we're, we're seeing issue upon issue. Uh, the stuff in um, in Eastern Europe, the, those events, we'll talk about that here in just a second, those were big issues. Um, when it came to the supply of wheat and now we've since found out well because of the drought um, the the winter wheat um, did not get planted here so we're only gonna have like 25 percent of, of, of production here next year big 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 events are going on um, that say we should we should be uh, you know, well stocked up and because factor and function, lower supply and included with higher demand is going to drive up those prices as well as the, the printing of uh, creation of more uh, uh, digital units. Um, all of that is, is saying that, okay, yeah, you might have your $200,000 Bitcoin party, but what will be around for you to buy and will it be that big a um, deal for you because by the time that happens, say maybe Bitcoin hits 200,000 um, next spring or April or maybe even sooner, do you really have the things that you want available to get because they're drying up? And it is, it is clear that the, the powers that want to be uh, are doing everything they can to continue to put major uh, pressure on the remaining supply chains in shutting them down as entirely as as I think they they want they can you know they really want to bring everything to a screeching halt. So we'll see how that goes. Um, so there's a few things that I feel like those of you who who were prudent enough to act. You're, you're, you're thanking yourselves. Um, for the few that said, ah, well, you know, it ain't going to happen yet. Well, stock market crash or not, whatever the indicator is of that, the physical conditions that are around us in this world are getting really, really ugly. They're getting really ugly. So uh, the main reason I wanted to do this video with you is, one, to catch up. Uh, there's a lot of you out there that were used to communicating and 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 sharing messages and thoughts and observations and stuff like that, and I kind of miss it. And since it's dreary, and I'm not going to do jack crap outside right now, <laughs> um, I figured I'd sit around and and you know respond to your your comments and stuff. Uh, thought about doing a live stream, but it's been so long. Um, uh, it, it, this is easier for me. So, um, let's talk um, real quick about uh, the ride that we're on, and this is why I said strap in, say strap in, and and because it's about ready to get a whole lot bumpier. So this is another moment where, like in April and like a few years ago, I said this is this is. This is something we have to look at, and this is how we need to change our behavior in such a way that we're accommodating uh, these events into our action plans. So, um, and we're at that point again. It's been a build up and build up, and all 
summer long it just kind of dragged on and you could see the buildup of all these conditions is like once you know and most of you who watch my channel know that um, there is a very rapid deterioration of conditions everywhere and for those of you who've used the meme and used the words of the perfect perfect storm or we've seen the perfect storm um, meme put out on many who just got real dark out there I'm supposed to have that front come through here um, in just a few hours actually so I probably ought to get on with this but we're gonna have some fun we'll, we'll do what we can so when you hear that mean the perfect storm um, what do you think uh, well we've all thought or many of us have thought well the ingredients are there the winds whipping around the trees are bending over the rains coming down in many ways but the outcome the major uh, what we would consider maybe an FF or um, uh, an event or something that the narratives can all of a sudden be either to the truth or changed or something's gonna ha you know we're waiting for that big pop the big release of tension that's been building as um, one of the old ball guys is saying because today is the 13th and the tension is supposed to be build really big and uh, you can see that in the, there's a big uh, jerk movement that has taken place in the markets but uh, from what we're seeing as far as the perfect storm it blows my mind that one they've been able to keep things mm, duct taped together for so long but how many more ingredients are there for that perfect storm and so many more stories things that happened to certain pipelines uh, things that happened on bridges uh, things that are happening here uh, to power grids um, many of you will know these headlines and uh, things that have happened to water systems things that are continuing to happen in 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 so many ways that are yeah, death by a thousand cuts well there are a thousand cuts and there are more and I guess all we're waiting for is the blood pressure to drop which is kinda of doing the blood pressure would be the current of the sea the current of the sea because you remember we operate in maritime admiral play yeah 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 so the current of the sea is this paper digital uh, lie that's been placed upon us and that pressure is dropping rapidly we peaked a few weeks ago and now it is dropping and it is doing so intentionally because of what the controllers of the dials are doing uh, behind the curtain and so that's where this point in time is extraordinarily pivotal. Um, set aside all the news, all the distractions, and, and trust me, I've, I've, you know, it, it's hard. It's very hard, especially if you're a YouTuber and a talker and you want to discuss all these events that have been going on. Um, in the end, if what I see from a spiritual aspect if you get tied into them then they got you in the game and I've always advocated from day one get out of the game get out of the game and focus on your world your homestead your manifestations your self-reliance your skill sets and your health and all of those things that's why I said is that it's the most important because you becoming de-zombified is the only thing that's going to lessen the impact of this hard landing that's going to occur um, as things unfold. So I have a couple of points I want to make um, about some information, informations that have come out recently that I think uh, would behoove of you to, if you're not aware of, because, you know, I did that little... Um, uh, uh, recording with um, Billy over at um, Perm Pastures, and he only put it up. And I gave you the link and all that. Um, he only put it up on his um, 
blog. He didn't he didn't put it up there because I think he was concerned that um, it would affect his um, his his YouTube platform. But he basically he told me it was his his words that uh, by the time I got done explaining things that I had dropped a tactical nuke on on potentially people who weren't maybe ready for that. So for all of you who um, have snowflake in your bloodline, <laughs> you, you may not want to go to these links because they, they are pretty um, um, shocking. But anyway, um, there are some good videos that have been put out recently. Um, good information a lot of information most of this most of you are going to be aware of this but um uh dark journalist has done a couple of really powerful um uh go back to the um catherine austin fitz she gives some very good and then the next one following the catherine austin fitz in an interview was uh one with um uh what's that guy's name talking about cog and some of the some of the things events that were going around, around the um, the, um, the the J F uh, K situation, and like I said, I got to be careful of, of what I how and what I say. So um, the information that has come out about the about again the tactical the tactical nuke is until you know uh, the world that we actually live in, until you know what you are, and until you know what um, these people are and what they're doing and so on and so forth, you have a really, you know, you can't really make good decisions. Uh, because, and, and the um, motivation uh, or the, um, the prodding of the electrical cattle prod in your backside to get up and move isn't as dialed up as high as it should be until you understand the this information and then whether you agree with it or not um, what you have to understand is there are people who are acting upon these kinds of information um, that will affect each and every one of us so uh, you know you can the hardest thing is you know teachability index teachability index of, of, of people going, well, that doesn't agree with all that I've been taught, uh, so I'm going to discount it, or I don't even want to listen to it. So you got to broaden your mind. So uh, this is my uh, concern. I've said it before, but I'm going to reword it uh, because, um, uh, you know, new people always listening to my channel um, and old people may who've been listening may not... Um, have heard it or caught that particular video, but you've really got to understand the system, the matrix system, via the legal system. You have to understand the education system. Uh, Bo uh, Pony refers to it as the the, 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 the the mountains, the seven heads of, of, of the beast that the scarlet is riding, um, and the control mechanisms via the ment mentis control the control of the mind that we are placed under and until you have been get how should I say this until you develop yeah develop the vision to see through things are being said by people to know uh, whether it's um, to to quote that 17th letter mirror in other words when things are being said that you need to know that it is basically the exact opposite or whether it's more like the devil is hidden in the details in other words you get all these facts but you know how to pick out by watching you know go watch those videos on um, on uh, on uh, that are put out there by they put out well, FBI CIA there, there's stuff on YouTube that you can watch that shows you how to observe a person communicating and know what aspect of what they're saying is true and what aspect is a, a lie you can you can see by body language reading body language is, is is really easy to do once you sit down and watched a few of these and 
and then and had somebody point out um, the way it plays out in in a conversation so that you start you know, you take a few lessons you know take a few lessons on on that and then you can develop that and, and we need this we need that form of discernment and the only way you're going to get it is by doing your homework and it takes time and unfortunately we're freaking out of time and that's I guess the summation of um, it's going to be the summation of my discussion today is that but you know I, I think we're 100 percent out of time um, uh, now Will it be 100% for everybody? No. Some people are really good at waking up and going, oh, I need to take action on this, this, and this, and I will, I will move while I'm learning, and I'll keep going and, and get it done. And some people are capable of that. Most aren't. So, um, the, there were those videos, there was, um, uh the Catherine Austin Fitz, uh the the Joseph Joseph Farrell, I think that's what his name was. His name is. Um and then there's a few other you know, most of you follow the same stuff I do, you know, um Hunter he's he's a great guy. Don't agree with everything he says because of his uh holding on to the desire to want the system to work. You know what I'm saying? Um but he's he's still got a beautiful heart and um there's a lot of uh there's a lot of other um I, I don't understand why there's been a lot of um uh counter psychological uh things against your self reliance um uh there's a there's been a, been a bunch of people that we all have followed that have come out and started speaking badly about um solar and you know whether it's efficient or or not efficient, or whether you know um, its energy carbon footprint is really any different than anything else, or if it's more or whatever. And um, I, I want to do a quick argument for that being that hey, I, we live off grid and we live on solar, um, except for really bad periods like this when we're having to run the generator. But primarily, we live on solar and even with solar in a generator. Go back to um, the one argument that I've said whenever I've had a discussion with anybody on solar equipment, especially in early in my solar career, was, um, you know, what's the EROI, the energy return on investment? How long is it going to take for this to pay for itself? Because i got to put all this money up front. And there was one, you know, there's two questions for somebody who moves forward that I always ask. One was, um, um, uh, what do you want to power? We've got to know what, to tar what kind of target you want to go for, for how much you want. And two, um, how much money you got. And uh, the second one pretty much determines the cap on the first one. You know, those are the things. But the, the, the other question I'd, I, I, would, I always ask, I said, well, you know, here's the thing. As far as EROI is concerned, uh, depending upon how you do it, you know, you can play with the numbers and I can make it look like anything I want to if I manipulate a few var variables and they do it and it doesn't really matter. What matters, and for all of those of you who may have been turned off by some of these other channels that were poo-pooing the solar, is um, in the last uh, couple years, a lot of the events that we have seen unfold have been disastrous for people who depend on the system for their power. Look at the energy issues that is being dealt with in Germany and Europe right now. Okay, and uh, you know Germany is uh, in winter in north, just like we are, and they've got a big issue with um, uh, for heating in in many of the countries, and so. There's that. You see um, a big heart headline on uh, Zero Hedge about the um, local stations that are receiving high-speed delivery of small packages that are turning off people's powers. You know, 
And over in what, what is it? Monroe? Monroe County, North Carolina. Monroe. And there's some in the Pacific Northwest. And supposedly um, there's been over 600 or the more this year than in the last few years, but uh, huge amounts of um, these kinds of issues. So my question for you is this. When the power goes out, do you have your own? Because that's all that matters. And of course the ability to maybe protect it and take care of it and so on and so forth. So this discussion about being on, on off-grid and on your own system never had anything to do with, uh, well, how much does it cost? Or, uh, you know, or, or, or can I get, you know, when do I get my money out of it kind of thing? Or energy return on investment. It's never been about that. It's all been about, you know, not whether, um, you know, is it carbon footprint zero? Or does it, you know, do you get more out of it? When you have a substantial amount of people on this planet with nothing but your demise as their uh, life goal, um, you, 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 want, you want something you can depend on better. Depend on better. So that's the whole purpose of what we're going for because in the end, uh, collectivism is dying because it eats itself to death. And that's what's happening right now. It's eating itself to death. And we're at the final stages of that. So let's move on to the cog issue. And I've what I was stating, because I got a little detract, distracted with the solar. What I was wanting to state is this. There are a lot of folks that are still in the belief system that there are good guys and bad guys and white hats and black hats and, and that... Um, there's nothing can stop what's coming. Well, that's true. The question is, what is coming, and uh, what is the true narrative of that, and uh, how does it affect each and every one of us? That's a bigger concern. Uh, but my biggest concern is I'm seeing a whole lot of setup for a big show. And I mean that under that in that word show, not necessarily reality but a big show in a new transition that they're getting ready to pull. It is going to be spectacular. And the attempt, in my opinion, and I'm not the only one with this opinion, there's, there's several others, you know, the, the uh, Roy and uh, uh, Jesse, you guys know who these folks are on their other channels, um, Roy Potter and, and Jesse on BP, Earthwatch. Uh, they're very similar in, in their opinions that um, that it's it's still a part of the show. But to get the understanding of that, you really need to listen to the, the audios uh, from the data of all the people who were involved in the setup of the matrix that we have now via the um, uh, going to dark journalist and, and hear the information about how each individual was tied and, and the roles they played and so on and so forth. Uh, and, you know, because until you understand, you know, hey, what's going on down in Antarctica? Uh, hey, what are we really doing out in space? And what's really happening with this, uh, this new trip that we made up there? You know, um, and is it real? Or do, are they just finally, uh, um, for the sake of uh, keeping distracted narratives up, um, have they done a whole lot of better CGI than what they had back in the 60s, you know? It, you know, it's hard to trust anything during this, so you can only trust yourself and your own discer discernment. Now, you want to believe that Earth is flat, or you want to believe that the Earth is round, it doesn't matter. Uh, you want to believe we went to the moon or didn't go to the moon? Yeah, none of that really matters. Uh, when you start to realize uh, there are people out there that uh, lay down these mind games for you to be tied into the system. And that's where I'm 
saying what's going to happen, and I'm not sure I know exactly what's going to happen with the uh, political situation because it's a joke. I mean, it is a nauseating joke, and uh, some will like to say, "Well, see, this is a storyline. They said it, and here's the here here's the, the the stuff that's unfolding now. Look, two-year delta, three-year delta, all that BS." What that leads me to conclude is um, that maybe a lot of this information was put out intentionally to pre-program so that you, when it happens, you'll go, Oh, see, I learned this over here. I saw it. He said it, and they said it, and now it's happening. So, you know, or do you trust that there are people out there that do have our best interest in mind? I don't know uh, if I believe that yet. And I'm not going to believe anything until the cleansing is over. And that will be a long time from now. So we got to get stripped down uh, to our bare essentials. And that's what's going to happen. Uh, because in order for us to have uh, clear vision clear thinking as a human race again we absolutely have to get rid of all the crap and that can't happen until it burns out ergo the old um, anger phase of humanity you know this is going to be Darwin playing out big time survival of the fittest and that means in every sense of the word um, it's not going to be easy. And the best of us that are, and, and trust me, I'm in communications and I talk to people who are uh, as prepared and more prepared than I am uh, in the physical aspects of the systems that we have in place and things of that nature. Um, uh, and even these people are going, I don't know if it be, even being in a bunker is going to help. But we won't know you know, a, a big old missile silo, that kind of thing. You know, get buried under underground with 20 years of provisions. Will that help? I don't know. We're going to find out. Uh, how long are we in this? Oh, 37 minutes. Okay. Um, figured this would go on for a little bit. But, hey, I haven't done it for a while. So let's have fun and, and have a chat. So anyway, uh, sum up the cog. Um, everybody's human and everybody's going to have their own beliefs they want to believe what they want to believe and you can try and convince people uh, one way or the other and um, what is the, the old saying it's harder to convince somebody that they've been lied to than to lie to them you know and, and um, unfortunately we're, we're in a sea of lies and, and it's very murky and it's hard to see through any of it uh, so, um, you know, there, there's only one thing you can focus on and know that you're in alignment with yourself and that's your own uh, self-sufficiency, your, your own self-reliance, your, your ability to know that I can put a seed in the ground and I can feed myself. That basic thing is the only thing that is probably going to get us through the next few years. So my concern and my biggest concern is could and I'm going to ask this question could all the 17th letter could all these Twitter folks uh, that put out stuff about um, what's going down could the this uh, court case that is uh, occurring uh, or about to occur in the Supreme Court having to do whether certain public officials did their job and whether they're going to just be unfit for for public service you know to me um, that looks like them finding a very easy out for themselves in that narrative and and whatnot uh, what you got to understand at least I understand it and I understand it through a very uh, biblical essence a big spiritual perspective uh, in the way we humans should not put up with the 
crimes against humanity that have been done for such a long time is that, um, and for the most part throughout history, it has been heads will roll. And until I see significant quantities of heads rolling, and that means all the way down to the local level, we can't, we will never end this at that point. We have, to, we have to get to the point where the cleansing is on your street in your front yard. So be careful. All I'm saying over and over again is be careful of who you want to put faith in as far as um, number 45 will be back by Christmas or number 45, uh, uh, well, uh, if this ruling happens, well, he gets to be back in, in immediately and he is da-da-da. All these show, as far as I'm concerned, it's still continuity of government. And for all of you who've been with me long enough, you should know that government is your slavery and as long as you feed that beast in any form or fashion, it will still exist. And it is our goal, I would hope many of you would have the same goal, is to starve that beast in every way you can stomach being on your own. That's, that's our goal. Because that's what should have happened. That's what we send up, set up our founding documents to do, even though they got usurped. But in the end, the reason you and I and all of us are in this big mess is because our parents and grandparents and great-grandparents that were here, for the, those who were in this country, um, uh, up until probably the last 40 to 50 years, once the system got too big to know the difference, there were periods of time uh, when the adult population of this country knew that there were wrong things happening by politicians and there should have been action taken then. Uh, back in the 1800s, um, 1873, there's a big example there. You know, thing, event, events that happened that we should have stood up for. Um, uh, the, there should have been more attention play, paced, paid to the headlines that you see in a paper and you just read them and walk away from them. We will all have to take that responsibility and we will all have to bear that burden of the malfeasance that has taken place for centuries, millennia. So as long as we have allowed that. So government is slavery. And continuity of government is the continuation of your slavery unless you and I and all of us stand up together against it and shut it down. So, you know, live with it or not, those of us who have stood up have gotten bit hard. So I know it's scary to do it. But if you don't like it and you want to see something different, change will only come with you making the change. And you know I love you all for it because mo most of you have done a lot to change your lives. But we're not there yet. Um, what we have done is allowed, um, or I should say, what we have been doing is working against the beast system slowly because the system is dying. The question is when this ends, which way do we go? Do we go into their new highly controlled China system? CBDCs? Are you going to accept those? Are you going to put one of those apps on your phone? Or are you going to get rid of your phone? You know, because they track trace tax tag trap you da 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 with them are you are you going to stand up against it are you going to continue to feed the beast that is a question that we all have to ask ourselves but i got family over here and i want to be in contact well what do you actually use the, that device for or you put on every app and play the game you know this is all what we got to figure out we we've all fed the beast how do we stop feeding it well, we're at that inflection point, and I think I want to um, show you a little bit, because we haven't done it in a while, a little bit on the charts, 
to have some fun because I think um, for all intents we're at the precipice of massive massive moves so let me bring this up this is gold and this morning we just had a huge move you can see right here maybe maybe can maybe can't uh, gold's up 2635 I know my image is here but you should be able to see the this is the daily chart of gold and since we broke out and then we broke down here that resistance line that goes all the way across here we have put up a, a a post or a pole and a we have a five wave bull flag right there and the only resistance we have in this so we're, this is why I'm saying we're really close to some big moves here let me put a line in here so you can see we hit it this morning you see that right there right at the tip here we hit that resistance line that's the only resistance line that we have in any of the structure that's in the in the daily chart for gold which means tomorrow could be very interesting as soon as we punch through and stay above it for maybe a day or two it might be off to the races I suspect it will be let's take a quick uh, look at uh, the dollar and the dollar is a down pretty good today I do suspect and this is the daily and like I said we turned get my scrolling going on here right we went up 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 and up um, and now it, it's dying so this is too big of a move to turn around and come back we've ha we, we have to go down saying that it won't turn around and go up and remember what it's measured against other dying currencies so you could see it come up but I, I my gut feeling is based on some of the things that I've been hearing about the 142 countries that are now a part of the uh, BRICS that um, we are very close to them rejecting the dollar and when that happens you could see one very long red candle here we'll we'll see how that goes because uh, it does it does feel like it's it's near imminent um, let's look at silver because I know a lot of you are very concerned about that because that's what you hold um, we punched over 24 this morning we're now back down to 23.68 as we're looking at this but the same thing uh, goes here um, we are come on let me zoom out here we only have one small resistance left now if you take and go from the top of that candle or wick to the top of that one you'll see we are getting really close to this this line right here would only re would represent the last of the resistance that we have now I showed you that um, earlier this spring when we were down here and I said this is what we gotta look at to go through we hadn't quite bottomed but as we did we put a shoulder a head and a shoulder and that has inverted and headed up which would put us at this line if it was straight up but it will put us over this line so we should break through this um, actually fairly quickly I hope you know <laughs> you never know we may uh, bounce off of it and then come down and retest it similar to this move right here which would give it a balance in its shape we'll see how that goes um, but I don't know I, I've got a sneaky suspicion that there is a hell of a lot of pressure here I've you know heard a lot of um, information uh, oh shoot I think I did not do that let me click on that yeah I think I messed up alright so you weren't seeing the the the, the charts told you it's been about a while since I've done this so anyway here let, let's let me hit it this is the silver chart this is the uh, spike right here with um, with the silver squeeze uh, this was the last spike earlier this uh, year or was that yeah that was this year first of this year probably was January and so here's your sh shoulder head and shoulder and you see how we're heading up here so the the it looks to me like the breakout point is going to be about 24 I don't know, 80 2470 it's hard to see that 
uh, right in here. Depends upon where we get it. The, the longer it takes, the lower that number is going to be because it's two lines uh, that you don't know where the intersection is going to be quite yet because of time. But anyway, we could get a bounce off of here and then and then up. Let me go back to um, gold because I'll revisit these real quick because I didn't have it on. All right, so there's your there's your pole. Here's your five wave coming up. It hit it, and I did not do a good job of putting a line there, but it hit it this morning. It hit the resistance right there. So you you see you've got a essentially a one, two, three, four, five, and we should we should break out of that pretty quick. This is why I think um, whatever's going down today tomorrow could send send this. There is no more resistance on the gold chart. This is the daily gold. There is no more resistance here as well as with the. Uh, go down to the uh, dollar and I'll show that to you again you see that nice big red candle right there I am showing it to you am I? yes I am um, yeah uh, this is a rever upside down bear flag so we could get a big drop here in the next day or so or maybe even later today depending upon how time time plays out and uh, so I expect I expect a, a significant drop as I zoomed out here using the scroll. You can see there is no support from this point forth uh, here in in the dollar move that it took and went straight up on. So there's no more support there. We'll do one last chart just for the fun of it, um, and I want to go to the uh, S and P. You know, back in the glory days. Um, back in the glory days of me doing my charts I used to look at the Dow a lot more than the S&P and I would get flack from that but uh, because the, the structures were so um, how should I say uh, well programmed uh, uh, well painted charts and so anyway uh, we had a pretty good move in in the S&P today uh, but we haven't held up there so this could be a false indicator of a move up and that's what I'm suspecting because it's reversed on the I think it was the CPI that came out and from a technical standpoint uh, at this point right here a couple days ago over the weekend I was saying that we had turned and we were about ready to roll over this move this leg was it and let me zoom out here let me zoom out there we go from all the way from the very top all the way down you notice we topped we hit here we hit here and now we've hit here we have what is known as a bugle formation and this whoops pardon my roller here or right, you see this little wick right here that would be known as a false break up or break break out or whatever um, if it does not close above that line then we know that this is this this leg is turned as you, as you can see there's a period of time of down a period of time up period of time down up there's these cycles and they all have their time limits well we've gone out on this time limit for this move up and it has to move down and let's take a look oops let's take a quick look at what I think might be the next target if you are betting on the down and by the way there's an article that came out uh, about uh, the uh, the um, puts and calls we are at the highest level of bets for the market to go down. So could it turn around and go up? Uh, on, 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 of course, well, they can punch keys and make it do that. And considering there is such huge bets that the market is about to crash, more than even in 2008, 2009, uh, that might be a good time to um, do a uh, short squeeze, squeeze out the shorts. 
but I'm not, sh I'm not thinking that's going to happen. I think we're about ready to head down. So anyway, um, we got a bugle pattern off the top of the S&P, which happened earlier this year. So the whole year has been step down, step down, step down. And by virtue, we are in a bear market, and it will stay that way until it doesn't. And considering the fragility of everything that's going on and the financial dominoes that we've had over the last um, uh, three or four months, we had the, um, the, 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 the British funds um, where they had to start printing again. Uh, we had the. Uh, we still have ongoing the um, a Swiss Central Bank that is still having issues, um, and uh, a myriad of other things, um, in, including all the uh, stresses that all the stresses that we put it. I, I I just have a hard time seeing us pull off another run to the upside. <coughs> there is one gentleman that I got a few friends that like to say, well, David Brady thinks this, and I'm going well. David Brady's been wrong, and he's going to be wrong again. Uh, but we'll see how that goes, because I've been wrong, and I can't say that I haven't, you know, gotten everything right. I would never have believed that they would add so many more ingredients to the perfect storm, but they have. So, um, let's take a quick look here. How long am I? 55 minutes. I'm about ready to call it good. It's been almost an hour. Um, I want to show you one more thing. Uh... For all of you who've been keeping up with the uh, the latest build, uh, you see here's a quick picture I took. You can see how wet and foggy and nasty, and it's still like that. Although it's pretty windy out, I would never thought fog would have hung in with this kind of wind because it's blowing out there pretty breezy. But anyway, you can see I got a roof over the outdoor kitchen. I have not. Uh, finished the metal work around the the grill section because uh, quite frankly last week I would like to have done it but it has been it has been um, uh, just really nasty and I haven't been um, feeling all that great uh, T and I've dealt with our issues here um, won't discuss that on 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 YouTube but it's been a tough year for us um, we've had a, uh, had quite a few setbacks you see this um, uh, down here, uh, leaning up against the brick. Uh, T and I went into one of the local uh, cities um, near us to do some shopping, and we stopped by a. And you can't see the good side of it. That's that's the not so good side. Let me go back to this other one. That there and these two um, slabs right here. It's amazing what you can still get uh, for for free. Um, we stopped by a countertop place, a granite countertop, you know, and outside in front of their building they've got, you know, these pallet stacks of really beautiful and cut and polished slabs of, of, um, of granite for, for uh, people who get countertops put in. Well, all the extras and broken pieces and cutouts and all that stuff, they have to throw it away and it costs them per pound at the, um, at the landfills to do this. So they were happy to give us as much as we wanted to take. So you can't see how nice it is, but that one's a real nice one. That's a sink cutout. And um, these two are sink cutouts for countertops. And th these two right here happen to just be part of a project that they had in the back of a truck. No, I don't want to do that because you're annoying. Anyway, um, so we picked up some of those for free. I'm going to take, I got a, uh, a, a, a diamond blade to try and cut off the edges and clean them up so they're nice. But when it comes to making dough and pizza, these white ones, um, one of these will go on top of the grill for when it's, um, you know, pizza making time. And we've done some fires in the, in the, in the wood stove, but we haven't done a pizza yet. I'm still trying to figure things out with it. Um, but yeah, so there you go. Uh, that's the latest in what we've been working on. Haven't been able to, um, uh, haven't been able to, uh, uh, do a whole lot this last week. And since we're sitting here, I figured, hey, we chat, um, switch that over here and, hey, we're back with you. Make sure I got it figured out. Take some tweaking of the noodle because if you don't do it, you lose it, you know. So, 
anyway, um, please, you know, leave comments. You know, there's so many of you that, that um, we, we, you know, we miss chatting with. Um, uh, let us know what you see, what you're thinking in the comments. Let us know um, how things are going with you uh, for all of you that we've uh, communi communicated with. I don't know how things are going to go over the next few weeks as far as um, doing any more videos. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Uh, but if I don't, then let me say, may you all have a very blessed, um, very blessed holiday season. Keep your heads low, you know, because there's a lot of stuff going over us right now. And some of that is likely to come down in and hit, hit us in the trenches uh, with the coming events. So, please, um, from our hearts to yours, again, I will say it over and over again. Um, we, T and I, thank you. All of you have provided so much support for us over the years in helping us to realize our dreams of uh, of getting to where we are we are at now, um, which is which is challenging because with the a uh, few injuries that I've had here, uh, maintaining it is starting to get very, very hard. Um, I've got some lower back issues, and T and I have been bullheaded on a lot of things that we've done, and the two of us probably shouldn't have been doing, like picking up big ass logs and stuff like that that we shouldn't be have been doing, um, and whatnot. And um, uh, we, uh, this is kind of why I had to make the decision to back off of trying to get the root cellar in before winter. Um, it's just too much. Um, been, so the last week of taking it easy in the rain is probably a good thing for me to stop and do. So I want to want to say we feel blessed by um, having um, gotten to know you and many of you and and build the, the chat relationships that we have and sometimes the phone relationships and sometimes the going there and meeting you relationships those are those are very very awesome um, you guys so many of you have have really gifted and it has been my pleasure to to gift back everything that I can to let you know that it's all in your grasp it's all in your hand all you have to do is imagine it hold on to it and don't take no give yourself the Christmas presents that you all um, you all deserve for yourself and um, uh, you know good good luck at navigating uh, 2023 because uh, you think the last couple years have been challenging uh, I think that's about to get uh, magnified by 10 and in doing so um, we'll see how um, how the cog show plays out as to what continues to happen is in in the in the show um, I have my hopes and dreams but in reality, because I know, because I know the foundation has to be dug up and rebuilt, and the foundation is in every backyard. You understand what I'm saying about that? Until, until this cleansing goes through every community, is to get rid of the malfeasance in the minds of those who think they can just take from us. And that's a lot of work to do. Uh, this thing will not end until that. So we got a lot of tear down to, to, to do. So next year is going to be extraordinarily difficult. Some of us will navigate it quickly and joyfully with smiles on our faces because we have taken away as much of the counterparty risk and we have given ourselves that Christmas present. So y'all be blessed and... Uh... Bye. <laughs> Bye, and we will catch you on the next one. Take care.